When ringworm is suspected, animals with positive screening tests, active dermatologic lesions, or a clinical history suggestive of ringworm should be followed up with a fungal culture. Where available, microscopic examination of fluorescing hair should also be considered. Additional means of diagnosis include culture or PCR performed at a diagnostic laboratory. New single-use examination gloves should be worn when handling animals suspected of having ringworm. Method 1. Microscopic Examination Prepare a clean microscope slide with a drop of mineral oil. Identify hairs that fluoresce under Woods Lamp examination and using a clean pair of forceps, gently pluck the hairs in the direction of growth. Place the plucked hairs into the mineral oil and examine the slide under a microscope using 4X magnification. Infected hairs appear wide and irregular. Occasionally, fungal spores and hyphae can be seen. Method 2. Perform fungal cultures. Before treatment has begun, Use a new toothbrush and vigorously brush the animal's entire body for a minimum of three minutes. Brush any areas with skin lesions last so as to minimize contamination of the rest of the coat. When complete, gently push the toothbrush bristles into a fungal culture plate. Starting in the center and working outward, cover the entire surface of the plate. Discard examination gloves and label the plate with the animal's ID number and the date of collection. Method 3. Diagnostic Laboratory To obtain samples for fungal culture, gently pluck hairs that fluoresce under Woods Lamp examination or those from the edge of suspicious lesions. Collect a minimum of 10 to 20 hairs and place them into a paper envelope labeled with the animal's ID number and date of collection. Place the prepared sample in the refrigerator until submission to the diagnostic laboratory. When obtaining samples for PCR testing, gently pluck hairs that fluoresce under Woods Lamp examination or those from the edge of suspicious lesions. Collect a minimum of 10 to 20 hairs and place them into a sterile sample tube labeled with the animal's ID number and date of collection. Place the prepared sample in the refrigerator until submission to the diagnostic laboratory. When sampling is complete, the examination area should be cleaned, disinfected, and prepared for the next patient.